In this video, we are going to talk about sounds. Icon for sounds is next to the text. You can notice that under video, we have two tracks. One is music track. This is where you can bring any music that you would like to add to your video. I will talk about it later on in this video. And under we have voiceover track. This is where you can explain your video and talk directly to your viewers. I created a short video about in, and I will show you how you can create a voiceover in this short video. I would like to preview this video so you can see what this video is about. I am going to introduce in. In has many different characters and feelings in Doodly, which you can use for your video. And I would like to just talk through those actions and feelings in this video. You can notice that on the bottom there is subtitle and I will show you how you can prepare those subtitles for you so you do not have to think much when you're creating voiceover. Those subtitles are ready for you and you can just read them through when you're creating voiceover for your video. You see that every character has a title and using phone. This title is the name of the character in Doodly. Get surprised and thinking. When you're looking for character that is thinking, this will be one of the character that will show up. Let's go to the first scene where I'm going to show you how we can prepare those subtitles for your voiceover. Go to scene settings and under subtitle, you can type, or if you have it already ready, just copy and paste the voice, the speech, the explanation for the scene that you're going to create a voiceover for. So in this first scene, I would like to say, in this video, I would like to introduce Anne and her character to you. I also want you to notice that we need to give some extra time at the end of the scene. One and a half seconds, it's not enough for me to say all this thing. So I'm going to give it seven seconds and then I will just adjust time. I can make it shorter if there's a extra time at the end and click apply. So now we can create voiceover. How we can do that, you can click on this plus button. You see it says record audio. So I click on it and it opens this bar. You have this red button here. When you press this red button, video starts rolling and you can start creating your voiceover. So let's do that. In this video, I would like to introduce in and her character to you. I think I made a mistake. It says introduce. I can preview this scene and see if I like it. In this video, I would like to introduce in and her character to you. Maybe I don't like that I breathe so heavily at the beginning, so I would like to redo it. So what do you what do you need to do? You just click this X button here, and it's going to ask if you are sure that you want to remove, and you click OK. So let's do it again. In this video, I would like to introduce in and her character to you. You can notice that the voiceover is much shorter than my scene. So it would take one, two, three extra seconds at the end. We want to give it some extra seconds so they can understand what is the scene about. So maybe two seconds more. So I'm going to reduce this time for five seconds, five and a half seconds. So now I go to next scene. And I'm doing it one by one. The reason is that I can play with this audio later. If it's only one long audio, it is harder to edit it. So I usually do it scene by scene. So let's do the second scene. Hello, my name is Anne. And that's all. If you want it to be shorter, you can just hover over the end and you see this double arrow, which I can drag and make it shorter. 
they are not lining up together so what i'm going to do i'm going back to first scene and give it less time at the end it's a little bit shorter so i'm going to give it more time like i mean four and a half seconds okay you can see that now i can move this uh, audio as i like and also make it shorter if my timing if i would like my voiceover to go later then i started to speak i can just move it like this let's see how that works now in this video i would like to introduce Anne and her character to you hello my name is Anne. You see, because before I started speaking a little bit earlier, so I moved the voice of Anne. I move it to come later. Okay, so we can go to the next scene and just press plus button. I already have subtitles ready, so we can, we can do it now. Anne has many different actions and feelings in Doodly. We can look at some at this short video. We can move playhead here. Anne has many different actions and feelings in Doodly. We can look at some at this short video. You see at the beginning I have this breath when I start scene and I don't like that. What I am going to do, I'm going to try to delete it so what you can do you can grab this end you can grab this end of the of the audio for this scene and just delete the, this first you see this was my breath that's what i'm thinking so i'm going to delete it and let's see if that helps you move the playhead at the beginning of the scene and now you can just preview it here many different actions and feelings in Doodly. I did a little bit more, so what I need to do, I need to go back and see if that helps. It has many different actions and feelings. And has many different You have to play with it a little bit. Okay, my breathing was somewhere here, so what I'm going to do I'm going to grab it and move this end of voiceover for this scene here. And let's see if that helps. I'm going to move playhead to the beginning of the scene. And I would like to preview the scene and see if I covered heavy breathing what I had at the beginning of the scene. Anne has many different actions and feelings in Doodly. We can look at some at this short video. You can do that when, when the sound you don't like is at the end or beginning of the scene. If it's in the middle, I can show you later how you can edit the, the sound. It's much harder, but it's doable as well. So now we can move on to the next scene. I'm just going to press record button and do my voiceover. Anne can walk. This one is short, but you can see that uh, probably I spoke earlier than I should. So we can preview this and then we can move the voice to the place that I want it to be, when, where I want it to start. Anne can walk. Anne can walk. And again, if I don't like that breathing, I just take the beginning of the voiceover for the scene and cover it. I just have to find where it starts and when it finishes. Again, I bring the head play at the beginning and listen. And the breathing was somewhere here. So I take, take the beginning of the voiceover for the scene and, and bring it closer. And now I can preview it again. Anne can walk. Okay, that's good. The scene is a little bit longer than I need it to be, so I'm going to give it a little bit 
uh, less time at the end of the scene. Okay, and now we go to to the next scene. Anne is sitting behind the desk and happily typing on her computer. Anne is sitting behind the desk and happily typing on her computer. This one is okay. So now let's go to the next scene. Anne gets worried. I wonder what those are. So let's listen to this. There. Anne gets worried. Okay, so this one, you see when I move it here, there is some, I probably pressed the button earlier or there is something that I don't want it to be there. So what I do, I just cover it. I just bring it closer and I, I can move the voiceover to start sooner than it, than it is now. Let's see how that works. Anne gets worried. I don't also like that clicking at the end. I will make it shorter and the clicking of the computer should disappear. Anne gets worried. Nice. Okay. I can pause it and go to the next scene. Anne can make a phone call. She's calling someone in this character sketch. Let's preview this one. Anne can make a phone call. She's calling someone in this character sketch. I'm thinking to give it some extra time at the end of this scene, just to give you some time to absorb the scene. So I'm going to bring extra time at the end to four and a half seconds. I think that that's good. Now let's go for the next scene. And get surprised. And get surprised. Again, if I don't like my breathing, so I'm just going to cover it up and check it. And get surprised. Okay, next one. And can think. There's this clicking at the end. So I am going to make it shorter and hopefully this click disappears. And get surprised. Okay. And can think. The same thing here, I have a little bit of sound before I start talking and I would like the voiceover to start sooner, so I just moved it backwards a little bit. And can think. This is a little bit too long, I think we have one, two, three, four seconds at the end, so I'm going to make this scene shorter. Maybe just two extra seconds should do it. And think even more deeply than in a previous slide. In this sketch, she's also sitting in her office chair. You might use this character when you need a girl to be thinking inside. You can see that I did not have enough time to record my voiceover. It's much longer and I did not even finish it. So what I need to do, I need to go to scene settings. And even though I have nine seconds, it's not enough. I'm going to give it 15 seconds and then I, or maybe even 16 seconds and see if it would work this time. So I'm going to delete this scene, this voiceover scene. And here you can see why I do scene by scene. If I would delete this voiceover and if it would be on one go, the whole voiceover is going to be deleted. So 
this way only this scene is going to be deleted so I click on it and click OK and I'm going to redo the voiceover for this scene again and think even more deeply than in a previous slide in this sketch, she's also sitting in her office chair. You might use this character when you need a girl to be thinking inside, working on something. Okay, so this one should give me enough time and we can go and look at it. And think even more deeply than in a previous slide. In this sketch, she's also sitting in her office chair you might use this character when you need a girl to be thinking inside, working on something. Okay, and here we can see uh, we have one, two, three more seconds at the end. I think we can make it a little bit shorter. I'm going to give it 14 seconds, 14 and a half seconds. That should be okay. And we have few more slides okay so in this case i'm going to run one long voiceover because i want to also show you how you can edit voiceover if you make a mistake and get scared and she gives thumbs down for things she does not like She also gets tired <clears throat> and worried. She also likes reading at her desk and to relax. So this one was longer voiceover. So let's have a look from this, this point. Anne gets scared. And she gives thumbs down for things she does not like. She also gets tired. <clears throat> and worried she also likes reading at her desk and to relax so now i want you to show you how you can edit voiceover if it's in one go and you made a mistake as you notice i cough at the middle of my voiceover and I don't want it to be there so what I need to do I go to this last voiceover and right click on it and I click duplicate I duplicated this last voiceover and I want to bring it to another track so what I need to do I go to this music track and I and I click add track now you can see that I have two tracks and plus my voiceover track and I will drag this last voiceover, bring it to my video and I will try to line up last voiceover that I created. It is a little bit tricky, but so basically you are trying to line up the ending. Now I have to just find the place where I coughed. Let's play it from here. And get scared. And she gives thumbs down for things she does not like. She also gets tired. <clears throat> so
So here, this is the cough. I am going to bring this new voiceover that I brought. I'm going to make it smaller. The one that I created first, I'm going to make it shorter. I'm going to take this end and scroll it back. Okay. So let's see. She also gets tired. <clears throat> this is what we want to get rid of. I'm going to move it a little bit further and now it should work. She also gets tired and worried. So you see this way I, I got rid of that coughing part. You can edit it, but you cannot have many mistakes. If you have many mistakes, it's very hard to do. You probably are better off doing it in some different program. But uh, if there is just one or two mistakes, you can, you can easily do it. Now we can go and preview this video. In this video, I would like to introduce Anne and her character to you. Hello, my name is Anne. Anne has many different actions and feelings in Doodly. We can look at some at this short video. Anne can walk. Anne is sitting behind the desk and happily typing on her computer. Anne gets worried. Anne can make a phone call. She's calling someone in this character sketch. Anne gets surprised. Anne can think. And think even more deeply than in a previous slide. In this sketch, she's also sitting in her office chair. You might use this character when you need a girl to be thinking inside, working on something. Anne gets scared. And she gives thumbs down for things she does not like. She also gets tired and worried. She also likes reading at her desk and to relax. Okay, so this 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 is it. And another thing is how you can edit your voiceover. Let's say you would like to edit first or second scene. You would like to say, hello, my name is Anne. Welcome to this video. You cannot edit it here anymore. So what you can do, do the voiceover at the very end. I'm going to move this for a little, for a little bit. I'm going to recreate a voiceover for the second or third scene where Anne is saying hello. I just want to add welcome to this video. Hello, my name is Anne. Welcome to this video. Of course, the scene doesn't correspond because we are somewhere else in the video. I will take this track, but before I do that, I'm going to add one extra track. And I will take this track, move it to the scene that I want to replace it with. This one, I just have to bring it back as it was. Line it up. I think that should be okay. We can always go and check it if it's lined up okay. Bring our playhead here and just play. She also gets tired. And worried. It sounds good. I'm going to move it just a little bit more.
Okay, so the voiceover that I just created, I need to move to the scene that I want to replace it with. It's a little bit tricky, but it just needs a little bit of patience. When you have a long video, this might be a, a little bit harder to do. Okay, so I think this is the scene and I want to replace this this one. So let's put it here. We can actually even bring it on this track down here. And we do not need extra track in this case. I can just go back here remove track but i don't remove it because i still have this one here let me just bring it down i can delete this one because we did scene by scene i can work with only this voiceover for this scene and i can just click x and remove it and i can actually bring this one down here so now we do not need this extra track so i can just go delete remove track okay all right, so let's play it again. In this video, I would like to introduce Anne and her character to you. Hello, my name is Anne. Welcome to this video. Okay, so you see that I added this welcome to this video because at the end I thought that it might be better. So this is how you can create a voiceover for your video. It needs a little bit of patience and learning curve. Usually for voiceover, good percentage of the sound is around 60%. You can choose the voice, how loud you want it to be here. Just click on this volume bar and choose by dragging up and down the volume that you like to use. I'm going to leave it at 67% can preview again and see how strong it is in this video i would like to introduce Anne and her character to you so i like that and now i'm going to show you how you can also bring a music as a background to your video so what do you need to do you need to go to the sound you have categories here you can go to my library this is usually what we recorded with the children creating videos then you have music and the last one is sound effects. Different sound effects you can use for your uh, videos. Okay, so maybe we can use this sound when Anne is calling somebody. So I'm going to find her where she's using her phone. In this slide, she's using her phone. I can bring this sound to this video. I can use it at the end. So we can say Anne is using her phone, but there's a busy tone. And we can just preview this slide and see how that works. Anne can make a phone call. She's calling someone in this character sketch. You get an idea. It's probably not the best sound for this slide, but I just wanted to show you how you can use sound effects. So let's go back to music and let's bring some music to our video. You can listen to different songs by clicking this button. I like this one. Okay, so the songs have different names. You can just pick which one you like the most. What I like to usually look at is how long is my video. So we need something for two minutes. Maybe we can use this, A New Hope. But our video is a little bit longer. It's two minutes and ten seconds. A new dawn is very nice as well. So I'm going to grab a new dawn and bring it to our music track and drop it there. Now I'm just going to line it up and bring it at the very beginning. You see that the music is very loud at the moment. It's 100%. I'm just going to show you how disturbing it is when the music is so loud. So let's preview. In this video, I would like to introduce 
so you basically cannot hear your sayings. What we need to do, we need to change this sound to be only 3 to 6%, very low, because otherwise it's disturbing and viewers cannot understand what you are saying. I put 6% at the moment, and for voiceover we have 67%. So let's see how that works together. In this video, I would like to introduce Anne and her character to you. At the moment, it's also the music is for me a little bit loud. And so I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this voice over a little bit stronger and give it more volume. The music that we have here, I'm just going to bring it to 4% and see how that works now. In this video, I would like to introduce Anne and her character to you. Hello, my name is Anne. Welcome to this video. If you want to add those uh, subtitles and write welcome to this video, you do it here under subtitle. So this is it about the sound one more thing I want to show you at the very end, you see that the music is longer than our video is. So what you can do, you can just grab the end when you have this double arrow and bring it shorter till very end. I like to have music a little bit longer than the scene ends. So you bring it closer to the end of the video. Now when you do a right click, you can fade out the music. Fading you can make as long as you like it. The same you can do at the very beginning, fading in of the music. Right click and fade in. If you decide that you do not want this music anymore, you can just delete it. You can also duplicate it. At the video settings, video ends when it's important that you click both the animation and audio ends. Before exporting the video, I go back to each scene and delete the voiceover script from subtitle file. Typing ahead of time under the subtitle helps me to prepare for each scene and makes recording easier and faster. Otherwise, you will have a subtitle under each scene. So I just go ahead and erase my voiceover speech so it doesn't show. I prepared this speech just to show you how you can get ready for voiceover recording when you're creating a video. Sometimes you have a lot to say with each scene, so typing it under the subtitle helps you to go through voiceover recording faster and smoother. When you are creating a video and you have someone else to create voiceover for you, they usually just send you mp3 file and it's easier when you have that file, you have the voiceover for the video to create a video around it. So you start with voiceover and then you build your video with the voice you already have created. As I mentioned before, many times you pay professional to do your voiceover and you just upload mp3 to Doodly. But I also I want to show you how you can do it yourself. If you work with Mac, you can open voice memos. And here by clicking this red button, you can record your voiceover. So I'm just going to say something quick and show you how you can do that. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. So you can listen to it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to rename this file so I know how to find it. I'm going to call it thank you note. I need to bring it to desktop. So what I need to do, I just drag it and drop it on my desktop. And here it is. You can see that is mp4. If you would try to upload it to Doodly, it won't work. Here we are on, under sounds in Doodly. We click this plus button, browse files, and we can find thank you note, open, 
and it says that audio mp4 a format is not supported we need to convert it to mp3 files so how you can do this is by using a musing app you can listen to this thank you for watching i hope this video was helpful it played in music app i can find it here thank you note you see thank you for watching i hope this video was helpful now i need to convert it to mp3 files under your music you need to go to menu bar and choose music then you go to preferences then you go to the files and click import settings under the import settings import using you need to choose mp3 encoder i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it well but you need to choose mp3 and then click OK. And OK again. I just go to my thank you note. Then I go to the file and convert MP3 version. And I can see that I have this thank you note under, and this will be MP3 version. I just want to make note that is MP3. So I'm going to write MP3. And now I am ready to upload it to Doodly. Before I do that, I, will, I need to bring it to desktop as well. So I'm going to drag it and drop it on my desktop. And here it is on my desktop. So now I go back to Doodly. I am under the sounds, this blue button here. I click plus, browse files, and I find thank you note mp3, click open. And this time it is here. I can just delete this MP3. I don't need it here. I click continue. And you can see that it was added to my panel and I can listen to it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. And I can bring it to my video. So if I would like to say it at the end of the video, I just drag it and bring it here. It has to be green. I'm going to add extra track and bring this note here. I'm going to line it up and I want it to start when the last scene ends. We can listen to it. And to relax. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. So this is how you can also bring your voiceover to Doodly. You can see that I did not have any subtitles anymore since we deleted them. So this is it for the sounds. Also, please check out the summary after this video.